Who are the 24 elders? Of a truth, we haven't been able to get a valid point when it comes to this question. The Bible made a few point known about the elders in the book of Revelation 5 8 and it says, And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. Who are these mysterious figures that the Bible addressed? This question had me curiously confused for a moment. I meditated on this message and then I got this enlightenment from God. I specifically believe that the twenty-four elders are also the twelve ascended masters. Twenty-four if divided by two, it'll be twelve. The twelve supreme beings governs the affairs of the cosmos, that's why we have twelve months, twelve disciples of Jesus, twelve astrology signs, twelve hours of the day twelve hours of the night, which makes it twenty-four hours. The spiritual community, we believe that certain ascended masters had walked this earth before ascending to heaven. The way I was shown this vision, I was told that the twenty-four elders are made up of twelve prime gods slash rulers of the twelve tribes. These twelve gods has picked one representative of their tribe, who will embark on the path of individuation to become a master of thyself. We can see these masters in the forms of Buddha, Jesus, Krishna etc., of which I also believe that Jesus is also one of the twenty-four elders, but this time he cited at the right hand of the Father. But here's why I am curious, Isaiah 6 verse 8 talks about the great meeting that was held in heaven, it reads, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I send me. Then if you read the verse 9 to 10 it says, he said, Go and tell this people, Be ever hearing, but never understanding, Be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Make the heart of this people calloused, Make their ears dull and close their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, Hear with their ears, Understand with their hearts, And turn and be healed. This Bible verse talks about the meeting being held in heaven, When Jesus identified Himself to be the messenger, Therefore agreeing to become the sacrificial lamb for you and I, And whosoever believes in Him. To not just live, but have an abundant immortal life. But here's my question, before God created man, I certainly believe that there were other beings and gods that He created. These meeting in heaven was not just held with one or two persons. This is the entire heavens, including the angels, elders, gods etc. yet none identified themselves to go on this mission, except Jesus Christ. That's to say, that Jesus was not just in heaven, rather He was also part of the elders in heaven. At when He stepped out to take on the task, he became the begotten Son and now he's cited at the right hand of God the Father. Now, this is where I became more curious, who's cited at the left hand of the Father, I believe it's definitely the 24 elders. Just think about this, create this picture in your mind. If Christ sits at the right, then obviously the 24 elders are on the left. They after the primordial elders of heaven, and I believe each of them have walked this earth before, I am not kidding you, I spill facts and this is facts. The 24 elders are ascended masters, that have implied several teachings and beliefs on earth. They've walked this earth before and they've been reincarnating even till date. If you check and research properly, you'd see that there are different beings that have lived on earth, that did amazing things that an average man cannot do. Recently, I've been studying about the life of Count Saint Germain and there are tons of videos that shows that he's been reincarnating over and over again. There are several information about Saint Germain turning anything to pure gold. He was said to be an amazing person at what he does, he plays the instrument, sings, he helps solves difficult tasks and more. These ascended masters are in charge of bringing helpful changes to the world. The bodies or vessels differs, but believe me when I tell you that the soul is the same. And the way I was shown this vision, these elders or ascended masters have been here after Christ's ascension to heaven. I believe that they do these because of the unconditional love and support they have towards us. Let's have a quick check. Let's take a look at Nikola Tesla for example. Nikola is one of my favorite icons in the industry of cosmic creation. Nikola's life story has inspired me greatly, not just that. Also his inventions was amazing. The first man who invented electricity, he built transformers and also telecommunication systems. Isn't that great? He also taught the world that if we want to know the secret password of the universe, then think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. He established the cosmic number 369 and he explored these paths and proved to the world that anything is possible. Also there are other scientists that's lived earlier than Nikola did, also teaching the same thing too. From the likes of Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein and so many more. Now imagine if these people didn't walk these earth, imagine if they didn't reincarnate here on earth to teach us. Dot. How catastrophic would the world be today? Also, if we want to examine other significant masters like Jesus who established the Christian Orthodox churches and beliefs, we'd be talking about other masters that also did the same thing, like Buddha who established Buddhism. Also Hinduism was also as a result of the Hindu masters and gods that reincarnated here on earth, to teach people. 
I understand that the 24 elders play a significant part from the creation of man, up till date. I believe that they are also here in these lifetime teaching, inspiring and educating people, contributing to the growth of collective consciousness and elevation. What we also don't know is, these ascended masters also exist in other dimensions and planets. And they reincarnate in this planet to help us evolve. I'd be striking more updates and information on this, with a more detailed explanation as soon as I conclude my spiritual research on this. Until next time my dear friend, let's pray and keep our fingers close as we seek the face of God for the truth.